Welcome back. So all this month, we are celebrating KGTV's 70th anniversary. And this evening, we are speaking with the woman Kimberly Hunt replaced on this very anchor desk. Maybe not this exact one, but you know what I'm talking about, more than 30 years ago. Bree Walker joined Carol LeBeau to form one of the first all-female anchor teams in the country. She told Kimberly that blazing in a new trail was scary at times. You told me in the past you felt a little bit when they decided to go with two women. You, your words, you felt like you were being thrown to the wolves a little bit. Do you remember telling me yeah. that? Yes, uh, there was some trepidation about them doing that. And I know Carol felt it as well, because as the years passed while we were working together, we shared that reality that it was kind of scary because it was an experiment that had not been tried before. But station management was steadfast and supportive. To Ron Meyer's credit and uh, the, all the all the bosses, they said, just stick with it. We're going to make sure this experiment works. And so they were encouraging about it. And that's a good memory. Good evening, I'm Bree Walker. Bree also found support and friendship from her co-anchors. Carol LeBeau has always had a special spot in my heart too. And Michael Tuck, I mean, he's passed now and it's one of the things that makes me think it's a good to be getting together on a 70th anniversary because we, do, we only get a limited amount of time on the planet. And there's only enough space to hold us all for X number of years. While it's our job to report the good and the bad, the serious and the positive happening in our world, Bree prefers to reflect back on the uplifting stories and the ones that make us laugh. Sometimes remembering the, the funnier side of the lighter side of the news is a fun thing to do. And for her, a wardrobe mishap on the set still makes her smile. It's funny, to me anyway. <laughs> um, we both, Carol LeBeau and I, were showing up at the set one day in this very same dress. And it was a color-blocked outfit, a St. John knit. Bright blocks of color, so you couldn't miss the fact they were wearing the exact same dress. I forget which one of us actually went and changed clothes during the first commercial break during that live broadcast. But that happened, and it's one of those funny things, you know. While it's been a while since Bree transitioned from TV news into other areas of business, the impact it had has never left her, and she views the world from a deep sense of spirituality. I've been lucky. Uh, I've had a good long career both in radio and television news. Uh, I look at it as, as all a positive. Then I start to think about some of the very difficult stories that we cover. And literally, sometimes tears will come to my eyes because I, I think about all the human beings that were part of that story. And I wonder, where are they now? And are they okay? Reminding us all to never overlook the good because there's always room. Well, you got to give the audience a a little bit of happy time too on every newscast. It's lovely to talk to you like always, Bree. Oh, it's so lovely to talk to you, Kimberly. Thank you, and I look forward to the latte soon. I'll be in- Awesome. Always a good latte. We have a entire section dedicated to KGTV's 70th anniversary on our website. Just go to 10news.com and click on the 70th anniversary tab at the top of the page.